a plan piping basic tutorial. This video shows several commands related with equipments. Copy, move, rotate and purge. Let us change to a plan view. We are going to copy an equipment with a new name. The command prompts to select an element of an existing equipment. Its default name is the same as the selected one. If by mistake we do not change its name, the command warns the duplicated name and does not allow using this name again. Let's change the new name. We have to define now the base point that can be by exact coordinates, by a generic point graphically selected or by a snap to an plant connection point, whatever it suits us better. We accept this arbitrary point and we are prompt now for the second point that will be graphically selected too. In this way we have now a copy with the same graphic, but with another name. It is also possible to copy complete equipment or parts of it with the copy command of the cut, but in this case two more operations must be performed. The copy of the new elements to the existing equipment. We need now to create the name of the new equipment. The name in this example will be created by modifying the copy of an existing one. The remaining task now is to add the copied elements to the new created name. We can check that the new equipment is assigned to the right elements. Let's see now how to move an equipment. This operation can always be done with the generic move command of the cut system or with the move command in the equipment menu. As in the copy case, here we are prompted to define a base and a second point. Let's see how to rotate an equipment. It can be done as usual with the rotate command of the cut system or with the rotate option in the equipment menu. Here, we need to define the reference point and the rotating angle. There are two different ways to delete an equipment, with the erase command of the CAD system or with the specific implant command. Let's see the first one first. Deleting an equipment in this way, only its graphical representation is deleted, but its definition will remain, as we can see in the command to manage the equipment visibility. We'll see in a moment in this very video how to purge this definition no longer required. Another way to delete an equipment is selecting the delete option in the equipment menu. In this way, its definition is eliminated as well. The message informs about the number of different elements that comprise this equipment. It could be none if its name were to be selected in the menu list and not graphically as in the example. It could be the way to delete the definition of the equipment HE003 manually deleted before. As we can now see, the definition of the HE002 has been deleted also. Let's see how to purge definitions of deleted equipments. 
This option is used when several equipments are manually deleted at once. This command eliminates the definitions of every line or equipment that no longer have any graphical elements associated to them. As we can see, the definition of the manually deleted equipment has been eliminated.